anniversary y'all i cannot believe it's been a whole month but before we get into the video if you're new here please subscribe to my channel hit the um notification bell at the bottom give this video a thumbs up like comment and share and join the family <laughs> okay guys so it has been a whole month it's like crazy to me that a whole month has gone by already um before we get into anything check out this shirt my husband made me y'all can y'all see it simply sleeved my handle on um, instagram is simply sleeve shauna so i am going to be selling these shirts because there are a lot of us that have simply been sleeved i also have another t-shirt coming out i will um, post that one on my instagram if you are not already following me on instagram my name is simply sleeved shauna i will um put it down here for you to see go follow me over there because there you get more up to date of what i'm doing whereas like today is my first video in a whole week I know I'm sorry, but my mom came down to visit from Pennsylvania, so I was busy entertaining and catching up with her, so I didn't get to make a video. But here we are, one month down, guys. And first, I have to say, before anything, I am so happy with my decision. I get so many messages asking me, do I have any regrets? The absolute only regret that I have the only one is that I did not get this surgery a long time ago when I first considered it. That's the only one, guys. Um, it's so much to tell you. I don't know where to start. Um, <laughs> eating, it's just been going. Like I'm still being really creative and trying different things. Um, some things I like, some things I do not like. Um, I have graduated to the soft food stage, which is for week four, five, six, and seven. Yes, my doctor is really strict this stage lasts a long time um so in this week i can incorporate regular meats that are not pureed like cut small um no really tough dry meats like steaks and stuff like that but anything else i can have as long as it's cut really small so i'm a little bit excited about that but um i'm not at the same time because still to this day y'all i don't really care for the meat consistency and chewing and swallowing it it just this is not that good for me. I am excited that I can add in more things. Like it says I can now have for breakfast a slice of wheat toast. I have been dying to have a piece of toast. Like a piece of cheese toast or a piece of toast with some jelly on it. I just used to be a big bread girl before. So toast is exciting to me. Um, what else can I have this week? I can have more um, varieties of fruit. Still no apples and hard things like that. But now I can have berries and different things like that so that's also exciting because now I can add berries to my oatmeal instead of eating plain oatmeal I've been really trying with the oatmeal y'all but it don't really work too well with me because I didn't like oatmeal previous to surgery and I don't really care for it still now it just leaves a nasty aftertaste in my mouth um too much information it's just oatmeal and me are not best friends but um i bought a box of cream of wheat even though i could have had cream of wheat a long time ago it's just like now i can have toast i want to have some cream of wheat <laughs> so when i try to cream of wheat i'm going to do a piece of toast and as far as the food goes i'm still just doing the same things i have fell in love and i know i gotta be like sparingly with this but i have fell in love with freshly baked sweet potatoes like take the sweet potato wash it off really good poke holes in it and put it in the oven not the microwave guys when i grew up my mom used to put sweet potatoes in the microwave all the time and they just they're not as good when you put them in the oven when you take it out the pan has like sweet drippings at the bottom of it when you put it in the microwave it just shrivels up it's like the microwave tears up the sweet potato from the inside out so if you like sweet potatoes put them in the oven it's worth the extra time that you have to cook them guys so um, I'm also still doing my protein drinks. I recently decided that I'm only going to drink vanilla Fairlife's unless I'm making one of my concoctions that I did in my other video before because the pre-made chocolate, the pre-made strawberries and all the other flavors, they just, I don't drink them as fast. I see they are sitting around and then I come back to it like, oh my God, I did not drink this. And then I put it in my app, my very tastic app and I feel bad because later on I got to take it out or change the quantity because I did not drink it guys. So that is what I've been doing. I've been drinking the vanilla Fairlife's. They are really good. Like I sometimes make a little bit of decaf coffee and some warm water and mix it together and put it on ice and it tastes like iced coffee. Um, but yeah, I'm still doing pretty much the same exact thing. I have incorporated exercise in. My husband and I 
have an exercising together so we have a treadmill and a bike in our basement so when i'm on treadmill he's on a bike and vice versa and i found that when you watch your favorite ratchet tv shows or listen to trap music while you exercise and the time flies like i was only supposed to be doing 20 minutes or a mile my doctor said to start twice a day the other day i was on the treadmill and i was watching my girl t she's um a f uh, instagram influencer as well who had vertical sleeve gastrectomy and i love her i'm gonna post her information below so you can go follow her she gave me life during this whole um thinking of getting vsg whole aspect of my life i got a lot of information from her she was very helpful in my journey so if you want to check her out i'll link her instagram and youtube below but i was watching her live on instagram the other day while on a treadmill and didn't even notice i ended up being there for 30 minutes and i felt a little lightheaded y'all because that day i didn't eat as much so my calories were low and then i burned all the rest of my calories <laughs> But it is what it is. We want to be in calorie deficits at this point so that we can continue to lose. And what else am I doing? I have been doing weights. I have some um, five pound and two pound weights. My doctor said that it was okay to do those, but not vigorously, like high intensity. He said just for like toning arms and strengthening your muscles because us as bariatric patients, our muscles are weakening and because we're not getting the vitamins and nutrition nutrients that we need so yes yeah, so I just do some curls and I do these things where I lift the weights up on the side that's gonna be a whole nother video I think I'm gonna do a video on bariatric friendly exercises I did um, use a book that my husband brought for me for Christmas I think was it no for my birthday my husband brought me this bariatric exercise book along with the bariatric cookbook so i've been reading that and getting some ideas on exercises to do and that's been very helpful a lot of them are sit down lay down stand at your kitchen counter type exercises so i will link the amazon link in the description below so that you can get one if you want to and yeah that i haven't been able to really walk outside because it's been raining and it is getting cold here in maryland where i live at so i'm not with the rainy cold plus taking the babies out so i basically do my exercises in the basement like i told you guys i had the resistant bands that i have been using i really like those because you can legit sit down in the chair put them around your um thighs and then stretch your legs stretch your legs and just keep doing it until you feel like a pull in your leg a little bit like tiredness like muscle failure <laughs> and then stop I, you know i do a few sets of that just to strengthen again my legs because i just want everything to tone up as it falls off i don't want it to be like saggy as you, you know, I know that I'm going to have saggy skin. That's the inevitable. And at first, that was my biggest, like, fear, the saggy skin. But now, I do not care. I do not care. But I am going to do everything that I can to eliminate it as much as possible. But if I have it, I have it. I'm just so grateful to be losing this weight, y'all. For my stats, I'm not comfortable yet. I'm not. I'm sorry to give out my actual weight and everything. But I will tell you, in this first month, I lost what well, what well, the day before my surgery anniversary, I had lost twenty eight point nine pounds, and I was like, I really wanted to lose thirty pounds the first month because I hear a lot of people say they lose thirty pounds, so that was the number that I was personally aiming for. So I was like, oh my goodness, I'm not going to do it. The next day on my surgery anniversary, which it was actually yesterday, I'm taping this a day late, and you're going to see it today. So <laughs> when I got on the scale, I actually went down that extra pound and some change, and I hit exactly. 30 pounds weight loss i'm so excited y'all this 30 pounds has changed my life i can't imagine how i'm gonna be when i lose 50 60 pounds because 30 pounds has really opened my eyes to life y'all I, I brush my hair now <laughs> not to say i was walking around the way crazy bum but i put more effort i got a little bit of makeup today um when i put on my clothes i put things together differently oh my gosh i had to give a lot of my jeans to my mom because I put my jeans on in my jeans, I can literally put my arms down the front of them because all my jeans were loose. And I refuse to buy anything until I get to a weight that I'm comfortable with because one, COVID's still here and I'm still working from home. So I'm gonna just continue to wear sweats, stretch pants and t-shirts like my Simply Sleeve t-shirt while I'm at home because I don't wanna keep buying a size down clothes and then end up with, I'm a very frugal person. I just can't see myself doing it so leggings it is until i get to my desirable weight or until i get to a weight where i have no other choice but to buy new clothes i'm gonna wear them baggy ones and i'm gonna wear these leggings <laughs> so what else what is happening um i don't mean to get tmi with y'all but adult relations have gotten like 
way better than what they were <laughs> before the surgery. Me and my husband, when we met 15 years ago, things was on and popping, okay? After these two babies, I just was like, please don't look at me, don't touch me. <laughs> but now everything is getting good in the department again. Um, what else? What else? What else? My daughter, she always said to me before I had the surgery, man, you're not, too, you're not big enough for that surgery. You don't need that surgery. You're not that big. All moms are your size. I don't want to be all moms. I want to be a bone mom. <laughs> so today, I showed her some pictures of me before surgery months ago. And when, I, when she looked at me, she was like, wow, mom, you really were big. <laughs> Thank you for being honest. But that goes to show to show guys when people tell you you don't need that surgery you're not big enough you should just do this you should do that they are used to seeing you and they may be bigger than you or they may be used to seeing you that way so it's just normal to them that you look like that follow your heart follow your head and do what you want to do if you want your surgery get your surgery girl because i am so glad i got my surgery i was looking at pictures of me from like two months ago or like say two months from the surgery and i couldn't even see my goddamn neck like i can see my neck and this is hilarious while my mom was here i was feeling right here and i was like what the hell is that and i kept feeling like a bump and i'm getting all nervous and i was like china that's my husband what is this he said um your neck bone <laughs> y'all i was done i was done i had on like a low cut shirt and i was looking at the computer at the time and i was like what is this and it's like fat is coming off in the strangest places y'all my foot when I put on my shoes I feel like my shoe is like a size too big it's only been a month my hands this ring used to be so tight on my finger and now it just slides on and off like when I'm washing my hands sometimes it falls right off in the sink so it's the craziest things it's the craziest things that is changing and happening to me I know that my face is smaller I even said to my husband that when I put my nose ring in my nose like right here the fat parts of my nose feel, <laughs> feel smaller. Like it's more effortlessly to put my nose ring in now than it was before. I'm like, damn, I lost weight in my nose and in my neckline. <laughs> it's just amazing, y'all. It's amazing. You do have your bad days. I'm not going to get on here and act like everything is all perfect and sunshine and rainbows because I did have a day where I experienced dumping syndrome, y'all. Oh my God, I'm going to tell you, my mom, when she first came, before she came, she asked me, was there anything that I wanted her to bring from New York, from Sybil's, which is a um, West Indian bakery, if none of you know, but I'm, my mom's West Indian, and she asked me, was there anything I wanted? Of course, there's things that I wanted. Of course. I wanted a beef patty. I wanted some Solara. I wanted some all kind of stuff, pine tart. I'll show you guys what those things are if you don't know, but I wanted those things, and all those things are doughy deliciousness and so she brought me a lot of it y'all so I cheated y'all I cheated I'm not gonna lie the first day she was here I ate a quarter of a beef patty and then I ate a piece of a pine tart like all the same day I ate the stuff and then my cousin made chow mein like three days into the visit and I ate chow mein and I know you're not supposed to eat noodles but because I'm gonna try to justify this, I'm gonna let you know that there was <laughs> vegetables in the chow mein. <laughs> so I think it's some vegetables, but I'm not gonna lie. I don't see my mom that often and I don't get to eat West Indian stuff that often unless I cook it myself, but it's not the same. It's always better when you get it from like an elder or from a place that you know makes it just like your elder. So yeah, I cheated, I did. And I regretted every moment of it because after I tasted all the pastries and everything, and y'all, when I say tasted, because my restriction is still really tight, I literally pinched off pieces of everything except for that beef patty. Y'all, I took the back part of the crust off and ate the front part of the crust with the filling, and it was a spicy one, so I should have knew I was gonna be torn from that. But I did. I ate it, and later on that day. I drank some water and I kept feeling like a little tightness and uncomfortableness and I didn't want to go lay down because of course I had company so I just kept moving around moving around and that beef patty was moving y'all it was moving <laughs> it was trying to find its way out any way possible so <laughs> by the end of the day I did experience some terrible dumping syndrome and I never thought that it was gonna be as bad as it was 
based off what people were telling me. I'm like, I'm, I'm not going to get that. I don't never have issues like that, y'all. When you get it, you know what it is, and you'll never do it again, so you'll never have it again. And I have not cheated anymore since then. Um, I kind of feel good about cheating because now I know what it'll do to me, and I won't do it again. And if I do, I won't consider it a cheat. I will just take it in moderation like i'll have a taste of something and that be it but i literally tasted a beef patty a pine tar and a piece of salar and i had that chow mein i don't know what the hell i was thinking about but it was just like my childhood favorite foods were right in front of me and i cheated and my body paid me back for that cheat <laughs> It was bad y'all if you ever had dumping syndrome i don't wish it on my worst nightmare y'all it was bad i didn't i would like i'm in the bathroom right now i had to stand like right outside the bathroom door because i didn't know when or what was happening to me <laughs> but yeah that was my experience and i have not cheated since then and thank god that that didn't deter me from still losing weight because why the next morning i lost a little bit more i guess because of the dumping syndrome i really lost but the next day I just upped my protein. I drank a lot of water, I got hydrated to try to get everything out of my system because it, it tore me up, y'all. I was having stomach pains. And now that your stomach's not in the pit of your belly anymore and it's up higher, it feels like you're having a heart attack. It feels like you're having a legit stroke or heart attack because the pain is now in your like chest cavity. It's weird as hell. It's like, I, I understand when people say they're full when they have the sleeve they're like i'm full and they're holding the chest i understand because that stuff was sitting up in my chest and i could not pass it or get it down i had to drink water which you're not supposed to drink water right after you eat but i had to i had to get that stuff down there <laughs> it was a mess um but yeah guys other than that i was supposed to return to work a few days ago but my doctor forgot to send my medical clearance to my occupational health department so that pissed me off because i missed two days of pay um, so I will be officially going back to work on Monday, whatever that date is. I'm not looking forward to it because my job is a sit down job, but at the same time, I'm going to think of ways to move around. I think I'm going to take my laptop and stand at my, my island in my kitchen. Then I might move to another room and then definitely at lunch and after work, I'm going to take walks. I even think that I want to wake up prior to my work shift and get on a treadmill, but y'all, I go to work at six, and even though it's in my kitchen, I don't wanna wake up before five. But I'm gonna try, I'm gonna really try because this is about making positive changes in your mind and with your body. So I'm gonna really work on that. Another thing I have been doing a lot of guys is I've been listening to daily motivationals. Like The Rock has one, and then this guy, Lee Brown or Les Brown, he does them. And I mean, when you listen to them, you think that you can be like a bodybuilder tomorrow. They really help motivate you. And, you know, we got to do whatever we can do to motivate ourselves so that we can get this weight loss down. Even though a lot of people say that they do their sleeve and they don't exercise, they don't do anything, they just lose weight. You know, I want to lose weight, and I want to build muscle, and I want to get, like, super fit. So... I've been listening to those to get me motivated to exercise and do things and I've been highly monitoring my like um, fitness rings to see if I close my rings for the day just I'm just trying to have a positive outlook every day so that I can um, have positive results in the end but pretty much that's it at my one month nothing spectacular other than the dumping um, no other things. My scars, they were almost looking cleared up, but now that they're healing, they're getting a little like dark line in it. So I started putting cocoa butter on them, which my doctor said was fine. And in my next video, I'll probably show y'all those because I don't feel like it right now. I'm bloated and I got my cycle. So we're going to keep the body parts to ourselves. And <laughs> what else? What else? Oh, guys, I did find a new few new finds. At BJ's, I got some um, roasted edamame. It's like a snack. It's like dried, like how peanuts are dried. And it's like lightly salted with sea salt. And a quarter of a cup has like 18 grams of protein in it. So I did try that. They were good. They were super dry though. So eat a little bit and then drink. So, you know what I mean? Like don't fill your belly up with them and not be able to drink because you'll be miserable walking around with a dry mouth. So those were good. And then I also bought a Quest protein bar, which was cookie dough chocolate chip cookie dough and it was really good the chocolate chips were like big chunks in it and it was like soft next time i'm going to heat it up in the microwave for a second because it was it was i don't know i don't maybe i don't like the bar shape of it i figure i'll put it in the microwave and then melt it down a little bit 
it'll be more palatable but other than that it was good it was tasty it didn't taste too proteiny so now that makes me want to buy some quest products which i do another youtuber i watch um oh my goodness why am i drawing a blank i'm drawing a complete blank but she does um quest cookies i cannot believe i forgot this girl's name I watch her because she reminds me of me a little bit, but I'm so sorry if I got your name. If, I'm gonna put it right here so you guys can go follow her as well. But she um, does the Quest cookies and then she puts like light Cool Whip on time. So I do wanna try that out and see what it's like. Cause for some reason I've been having a sweet tooth lately. I hate to admit it, but I have. I've been wanting sweet things. So when I do want something sweet, y'all, this is the craziest thing. I eat like dried fruit and I don't know if I'm supposed to, but I eat like dry cranberries, dry pineapple because it gives you the consistency of if you're eating a piece of candy. So that's what I've been doing. <gasps> Did y'all just hear my stomach? She is rude. I named her Sheila. Did anybody else name their stomach? If you're dead, put the name of your new stomach or your sleeve. Put the name of your sleeve in the descript in the comments below. I named my sleeve Sheila. And I think I named her Sheila because I, one day I was like, she'll let me have it. She ain't gonna let me have it. Oh yeah, she'll let me have it. And then she'll let turned into Sheila. <laughs> so my sleeve has officially been named Sheila and she's doing pretty good. Her and I are getting adjusted and learning what we should and should not eat. And yeah, it's going pretty good y'all. Other than all the eating stuff and uh, the weight loss, I feel amazing. I really do. I feel amazing. I feel lighter. I feel like I have more stamina. I'm not tired as much. Um, I'm figuring out foods that I can feed to my whole family so we can eat together. Whereas at first, when I couldn't eat anything, I would fix them their regular dinner. And then in my mind, I'd be like, well, what if I was eating dinner with them? So I've started to make things more healthier for them as well so that we can all eat healthy together. That's also a great part about having this procedure. If you're a mom, you know we do most of the cooking and preparing our food you're not just going to benefit from this. Your whole family is going to benefit from it. So if you're thinking about doing it, if you have any questions, put them in the, um, in the comments below and we can talk about it because at first I had so many things that caught me up on why I shouldn't get this. I didn't have much support from certain family members and I was like, mm, I shouldn't do it. But one day I said to myself, you know what? For once, I'm going to put me first and I'm going to do exactly what I want to do and I'm going to put it in God's hands to make sure that I'm okay, that I have a safe surgery and a safe recovery. And when we do it, y'all, because I am living proof that you can do this with not a lot of support. You can do this if you watch all the YouTubers and you subscribe to those bariatric pages so that you can get more information, follow people on Instagram. A lot of people have weight loss only Instagram pages. I do as well. We all do. If you follow those people, not to look at them to make comparisons on how you should do, but just to let your mind know this is possible. This is something that can be done and go ahead, do it. Go through with it. Get your surgery. If you're doubting it, ask questions until you feel comfortable with it but i have no regrets guys i have absolutely no regrets and i'm sorry that it took me a whole week to put out a video but i wanted to do it on a special day which is my surgery anniversary so that i can give you guys a bit of information about what's going on which i hope i have done in this video again i want to thank you all for subscribing to my channel i've gained a lot of new subscribers to my channel my comments be popping my Instagram now is popping like people from my channel are now moving over to my Instagram and they're telling me I watch your channel. I like this. I like that. And it's beautiful because I was that person that was watching other people's channels and asking for information. And now I'm the person that people are watching and it's so exciting. So I just want to keep giving you guys updates so that you can know what's going on with me and so that you can follow along my journey. And for the people who are following along and are watching me, you are greatly appreciated. And I love all of you guys. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.